Hey folks, it's Amy K, your cocktail coach here for you. It's Friday midday today, that's 2 p.m. We're trying a little something different to see if we can get some of the folks away from their Zoom meetings, away from their laptops, maybe get a little fun day Friday buzz. Today we're gonna to create for you the classic Gimlet. So the Gimlet is a fun, fun cocktail. It's a great alternative to the gin and tonic. I'm using today the lovely classic Tangeray. Um, my camera woman, Pamela Stubbs, was a little nervous when she bought it because she didn't think I'd like it. But Tangeray is a lot of fun. Uh, Tangeray comes back from the 1830s, invented by Charles Tangeray himself, where he blended many, many, many botanicals. And the root of this one is licorice, juniper, coriander, and Pam, what's the other four? Angelica root. And I try not to forget because I love Angelica Houston, so Angelica root it is. So hopefully on this bright, sunny midday, we have at least two viewers, do we, Pam? We do have two viewers. I mean, this is amazing. So somebody has gotten away from their Zoom meetings and is deciding to get a little tipsy with us. So this is perfect. So classic, classic Gimlet. Like I said, you want to use gin, you want to use a simple syrup, and you want to use uh, some lime juice, lime for garnish. Tools, Pam, if you can zoom in, like I always ask you, classic shakers, or like I always say, a mason jar is a great alternative. Jiggers, anything that can measure liquid your favorite cocktail glass. I'm actually gonna juice the lime for you today, live. Woo, getting crazy here in Brooklyn. And then you wanna have a Hawthorne strainer and always some fresh ice. Hopefully this won't melt because I didn't wanna escape and uh, have you lose me to go get it in the freezer. And always, always a nice sharp paring knife. Uh, shout out to Whisk here in Brooklyn for sharpening this for us because we do not know how to do that. Little cutting board. So first, folks, uh, first things first, like I like to talk about ingredients. So we already talked about your tangere. And when I'm doing my gimlet, I truly like to stay away from the less botanicals. I like to just do the classic London style. Uh, other ones, Plymouth, Beefeater, Hendrix is lovely. Like I always say, there's many, many, many other more modern gins that use many more botanicals. I think for the Gimlet, because of the richness you're getting from your sugar, the citrus from your lime, you don't want the gin to overpower too much. So we're gonna stick with the uh, Classic London Dry. Now for simple syrup, I always try to use Demerara sugar cubes. It's gonna give you a really more rounded simple syrup. You can definitely use your good old domino sugar, cane sugar, that works too. But if you want it to be a little more robust, a little more richer, I choose to use Demerara. And it's really good in uh, classic old fashions too. A uh, shout out to uh, Alyssa uh, Ferguson Phillips there out west because she loves the Demerara sugar cube. So hi, Alyssa. All right, so let's build this drink. Pam, I'm probably gonna tell you to zoom in a lot. So the first thing I'm gonna do is for a good three quarter ounce of your fresh lime juice, you're gonna want about a full lime. So if you get a size about this guy, cause limes do vary in sizes. So you wanna stick to about that standard size lime and literally juicing this whole lime is gonna give you just about the right amount. So if you go a little over, that's okay. So actually Pam, we can just juice right in our Boston shaker. So you wanna just give it all a nice little squeeze. Like I said, this is a great alternative to the gin and tonic. I know my camera woman loves the gin and tonics, but she's getting into gimlets these days. And traditionally, we're gonna serve ours up on the rocks today, folks, but you can, or I mean, I'm sorry, we're gonna serve up ours straight up, but you can do them on the rocks as well but we're always gonna teach you the classic way that you can always play yourself. So that is your fresh lime. And now for your simple, you can do three quarters, but like I mentioned, because mine's a little more richer, I'm gonna do just about a, like a good half ounce because three quarter might give it a little too much sweetness and you don't wanna overpower your gin. Boom, as I like to say, right, Joel? 
it's just, this is fun, it's easy. So when you need to get off the call with the boss or if you're the boss, it's an easy one to whip up. Allison, you're probably gonna whip this up later tonight at home. So your gin, you wanna do a nice, good, solid two ounces, boom. But like I say, we're on like week 2800 here in quarantine. We're gonna do a little extra. This is also a great poolside drink. I know uh, Denise Busick and Buzz out there in Jersey might be whipping up some of these later. Feel free to invite us out. We can do classes for you there. I can give you the family discount. Now you want to pack your bigger tin with some ice. Any questions, Pam, from our two viewers? No today? questions. We do have uh, some uh, Anne who says Gimlet's one of her favorite drinks. Anne, oh, Anne, we can drink this at Chadwick's next time. Christian's on watching right Christian, now. Christian, my love. Have a good night at work. Everybody, go see Christian at Jeffrey's Grocery. He'll be shaking it up there for all of your cocktails. Take it easy on him. Keep your mask on in and out of that restaurant, folks. We got to be safe down there. All right, so we are gonna shake this puppy. Now I always say, and Pam knows, when you shake, you gotta give it a Woo! You gotta shake it out, you gotta work on those biceps. And that, folks, is just enough, because I always stress you do not wanna over shake. I know shaking is fun, it's cool, but you don't wanna over dilute that drink. Now we are gonna clean up this home bar. Get your favorite cocktail glass. You can serve this in a coupe, folks, a martini glass, whatever you prefer. But I like to do this fun old school glass. Oh, I think Pamela Stubbs is getting this. Almost looks like a good old Mountain Dew, doesn't it? And then it's always fun to do your classic Lime wheel. Give that a nice little. And that, friends, is the gin gimlet. Looks delicious. So please, I hope you escaped your Friday work uh, life to join me for a minute. I am your cocktail coach. Tune back every week. Give me a shout out. Let me know if you prefer the midday ones or the nighttime ones. I'm here for you. Amy K, your cocktail coach, Sunday fun day every day. Woo! And this one's for you. Cheers.